Well, hello and welcome to Noah's Window. Today we're going to go to the New Testament, to the book of Romans. In our one-year Bible, we've moved into the book of Romans. So again, I hope that you'll grab your Bible and read along because there's so much there that you, you know, can learn. Um, and in Romans chapter 1, and Romans, by the way, is a letter that was written by Paul. And as I was reading through this, there's a lot of heavy things in Romans 1. But the thing that I found really interesting in, uh, in Romans chapter 1 that I think will encourage us today is uh, Paul's um, encouraging the, the Christians there at Rome. And he's saying to them in verse 8, Let me say first that I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith in him is being talked about all over the world. Isn't that amazing? Faith is that famous. Yeah. It is. And you know, the thing is, this church was in Rome. So mm -hmm. in these days, whatever was going on in Rome was talked about all over the world. People talked about the politics. People talked about the intrigues that were going on with the family of the Caesars and all that kind of thing. Rome was kind of the epicenter of everything that was happening. And yet what's amazing about this is this group of people in the church, persecuted though they were, not empowered, um, mm -hmm. Many of them were slaves who came to faith in Christ. And yet the Bible tells us that their faith was being talked about all over the world. And I find that, like you, I find that really a very special, special thing. It, it makes us think about in our era to uh, live for Christ and to be radically uh, living for Christ in such a fashion that our faith is talked about. Yes, I think that's a real challenge to us in this modern time is to have that kind of faith that will be talked about around the world. I know um, what's going on at New Spring Church is being talked about um, in many places, and, and we're just excited to see what God is doing. I think that's the key right there. I know it is. When God is at work, when God is at work, then that is going to spread. You know, about 20 years ago, uh, you and I and Stephen attended a church service. Uh, it was a church that we'd wanted to visit. Um, they had a phenomenal choir that had done a lot of recordings and, and so on. And we were we loved their music. And so it just so happened that we were able to attend a service. And frankly, it was in Nashville. Yes, I remember. And what we did not know was that they were getting a new pastor. And that pastor was going to bring, I guess, his first message as pastor of this great church. I don't get to listen to too many sermons live because mm -hmm. typically I'm preaching here or even if we're traveling, I'm preaching somewhere else. So I have a way of remembering sermons, you know, because to me, it's just a very special experience to get to listen to someone else preach live. But I, I never will forget this preacher's sermon. Uh, his sermon was entitled, Let's Give Them Something to Talk About. Oh, I love that. And love uh, that. of course, it was in Nashville. And a, a hit song in those days, I think it was Bonnie Raitt back in the old days, a blues singer, who had had some, um, had some success with a song called Let's Give Them Something to Talk About. So when he yeah. mentioned his title there in Nashville, you know, there was a ripple of, of uh, oh, chuckling that went through the audience because they, they knew he was giving out the title of a famous song. But what I remember about that message was he had two points to it. He said, let's give the people outside this church something to talk about. First of all, to talk about what God is doing here mm -hmm. in our midst, what God is doing. And then he said, let's give them something to talk about in our living for Christ in such a way that people are going to want to talk about how we glorify Christ by our lives. And that reminds me of what you've been saying about this Revelation series, that the whole point is, how should we live our lives, mm -hmm. given what we are being told in this book and what, what we're looking to see that God is saying is coming? Yeah, it's interesting that you go there because now, of course, we're getting close to the end of going through Revelation. I think we'll probably have 14 weeks of messages from Revelation. And now, you know, I'm, I'm looking back and hoping that I did did that the right way that's pleasing to the Lord. But I really do think that was the right approach for this series. Not what does this mean? What does that mean? You know, what's the symbolism here and that? Those things have their places, of course. But the important thing for us as we get close to the rapture is how should we live our lives? Yes. You know, that's what Peter, mm -hmm. uh, that question that Peter asked uh, when he gave a description of the things that would happen in the end times. And he said, seeing all these things are going to happen, what kind of people should we be? Yes. And to me, that's that's the question of our times. I know that's the challenge in my own heart and life every day is 
am I really, is, is God really shining through me? Is the Lord shining through me? Because that's my personal assignment. Wherever I am, whoever I'm around, whether it's family or friends or out in the public in general, wherever we are is uh, to represent well. Um, because like you said, if we're really living out our life as God would have us to, we're going to stand out. That's right. Well, in the words of that preacher, <laughs> and let's give them something to talk about. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> because clearly, what was going on in Rome in this church was being talked about, according to Paul, all over the world. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. I love Pretty that. strong. I hope that'll encourage you today as you start out this new week. That uh, I love that challenge. Let's give them something to talk about. And, uh, and I know that it's going to be a blessing to you this week. So as we wrap up this morning, Mark, would you lead us in a word of prayer? Father, we uh, are thankful that we always have something to talk about in regard to what you're doing in our lives and in our world. But Lord, I pray that you'll help our lives to be uh, such a uh, an adornment to the gospel as we read about in Titus. Help our lives to be such an adornment that people will talk about us, not about us individually, who we are and what we accomplish, but how different our lives are because Jesus Christ reigns in them. I pray that you will help us today uh, to do something that will draw somebody closer to knowing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us here on Noah's Window and hope you have a wonderful day and the start of a great week and we'll look forward to seeing you again here tomorrow. Thank you. God bless you. God bless.